What the? What the hell? Day shift time, baby. We just played a match of Fortnite. Day shift time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up one of my earlier saves before we go into the flip side. I'm guessing you're gonna skip the flip side. Yes, because we kind of have to. Uh, I wanna skip the flip side. Are you sure you wish to do this? This choice will only allow for neutral and evil routes. You will not be able to save them. I'm so fucking tired. It's slumber time. Very well, tomorrow's another day. Yay! Honestly, I don't think with the neutral ending, it's really gonna matter. We're just kind of trying to see what happens. Yeah, we'll just randomize it. We'll just randomize it this time. We've never randomized. And for a playthrough, we're just trying to get the neutral ending. Randomize everything. Okay, what do we get? What do we get over here? What do we got? Oh, hello. Hey, boss. Uh, welcome to the new and exclusive Freddy Faz, blah, 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 blah. Sure, 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 sure. Yep. You bring up a good point. Yep. Uh-huh. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Goodbye, Dave. Good, good talk. Good talk, Dave. Good talk. So we're not going to the flip side and we're not going to partner with Dave. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum. bum, bum. Oh, God. The TwitchCon foam pit. You despise this ball pit. A streamer broke her back in this. Another dislocated her knee and almost lost her leg. Everyone will die. Yay! MisgenderCon, true. There were a lot of issues with TwitchCon, but I think the community made it worth going. You know, like you, you hate like pain to go to it, but it was fun, you know? Well, here we are. It's time to go to the foam pit. Hello, Dave Trap. Oh, Christ. Dave, you're dead. You need to leave my restaurant, Dave. No ifs or buts or sucking cocks. You need to get out, Dave. Get out of my restaurant, Dave. I've built a good life for myself, and you disappear for 30 years. And then you just waltz back into my life. And then once I find a way inside, you decide to fuck me out onto the curb. I do want to fuck you, but not not on the curb. You can come come to my home. I just don't want your rotting corpse in my restaurant. That's all I'm saying. Squatsy, honey, do you really think I'm gonna give it? Mark my fucking word, old sport. Mark my fucking words. I want you the fuck out of my restaurant and get your big purple cock out on the street, you fucking bitch. We are a family. No, we aren't. And family doesn't give up on family. No. You are gonna learn what it means to lose something, the idiot. Dear to me? You mean my nutsack? You're going to take my nutsack? Hey, boss. Uh, there you are. You know, the inspector's here. I managed to buy as much time as possible, but, you know, the more time we spend in the dining area, the greater chance he has of spotting the scuttlers. The infestation. Uh, he's waiting out there, sir. You should go out and, you know, grease the old wheels, if you know what I'm saying. Put on your soulless orange charm. Good luck, sir. Oh, no. Oh, Christ! It's you! Hello, I am the LC inspector. This is the foam pit! I love the foam pit! I do not love the ball pit. Damn it! Well, that's all we had. Oh, no! The music man! What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? I didn't let that thing into my restaurant. Well, I guess the ball pit is that things now. Playing eggs in the ball pit is a severe health violation. So are real spider robots holding large metal symbols breaking into your restaurant? Damn it, music man! Yes! This is my foxy themed strip club! Don't say it! Thanks. I did it. Hello, Mr. Health Inspector. Alvo, want to inspect my boy? I swear he doesn't work here, Mr. Inspector. So, you let dangerous, perverted fairies just roam your restaurant freely? Yes, we do. Would it be better if I said that he does work here? 
So, you, employed, dangerous perverted fairies. Health hazard. Damn it! Fuck damn it! Mr. Instructor. Boysies, Oscar! Are you aware that you sound like the don't hug me, I'm scared, duck? I would like to know what's meant to happen today. I would like to know what's meant to happen today. Hey, guys! I'm the duck! From don't hug me, I'm scared! I'm going to jump into the ball! Eh? Do I want to do that? Will that kill me? Let me save my game. All right, jump into the foam pit. And I no longer have a back. <laughs> 30 years after the initial closure of Freddy Fazbender's, a local man by the name of Jack F. Kennedy. His, his initials are JFK. That's a that, new lore dropped. Revived the franchise in a fruitless attempt to recapture the childlike charm that once enriched the lives of countless children. Unfortunately, the new owner succumbed to the gaping maws of the restaurant's ball pit, like many others before him. Will he be missed? Eh, probably not. You promised, Jack. Why is Fred Bear sad? Why is Fred Bear sad? Because you broke your promise and you didn't save the kids in this run. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> ah! Summon the horde of ungrateful toddlers. What the hell? Do you have an offering for us? Licorice, perhaps? I don't have any licorice. I've come empty handed. Time to learn to desire, mortal. Do not approach us idly, lest you forget your place. You will remember this, you will quickly be the game. Okay. You know, circumstances aside, we've done good work together. I'm glad that for once, the company is an actual success. And without you, I never would have gotten to see that. So what I'm trying to say is, you've made an old phone proud, sir. My success is all because of you, employee. You've done superbly. It was an honor to serve, sir. Honestly, with how well things are going, you won't be back, you won't be, have to be back till next month. You can take it easy till then. Maybe I'll take a spa day. Yeah, you probably need it. I mean, good lord, you look half dead. Might want to get some of that dead skin off, sir. Well, that's enough for me then. I'll see you on the flip side, sir. Today went... What the fuck is that word? I... 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 Idically? Your restaurant's really shaped up to be something incredible. Phone guy leaves the restaurant and he decided to lock up. You leave through the window and say goodnight to your opus. Tomorrow is another day. One month later. We're, we're really just managing this restaurant perfect, bro. Everything's just going perfectly fine. Month five. Wow, another month, another headache. Time to check up on Phony. Sir, you made it. You know, today's the biggest day we've had yet. The party we're holding for the son of the CEO of McGumpty's Oats and other such grain-based assortments. If he really likes our stuff, I reckon we could see about expanding the Freddy's brand. This is the big break we've been waiting for. So what are we waiting for? Go entertain that boy! On it, sir! I'm so close to success I can almost taste it. Nothing could possibly ruin an opportunity like this. Uh -huh. It is I, Old Sport, the immortal Dave Miller, and I. Dave, are you a customer here, or...? One, no. I'm here to enact revenge on you, you tangerine shithead. See, here's the thing, Dave. I'm running a business, and time is, well, you know, money. Every second I spend here listening to you babble on, I lose moolah. So, finish your monologue in three sentences, or get out.
X. Fucking excuse me. Sportsy. You think you can talk to me like that? Don't give me this fucking business shit. You hate this fucking place. Don't act like you did any of this to do anything other than lose to me. We're a family, old sport. All of the souls we've claimed, all of the children we've snagged, our work, Henry's work, this, all of this, is for him, and together, we will. Dave. Shut. The. Fuck. Up. You're a fucking idiot! What kind of narcissistic fucking... I've been operating a functioning business for five months and actively avoiding you the entire time. I literally bailed when I saw you in that rotting pizzeria. Oh, God, you reek. I don't want you in here. Uh, go take a bath, Stinky. Go stinky? On. If you're gonna break into my house and use my possessions, at least take a shower once a year. Christ! Sportsy, I. If you don't want me, then that can't be. This doesn't make any fucking sense. If you weren't planning on attracting me here, what was all of this for? You hated working at Freddy's. Why would you bring the entire company back? Right, Dave. I hated working at Freddy's. I hated coming into work at noon, hungover, and being screamed at by our phone-headed boss. I hated wearing a sweaty bear suit for six hours a day. I hated being bitten by dysfunctional haunted robots. I hated having to look Matt in the eyes every single goddamn day and pretend that I didn't possess the overwhelming urge to peel his skin off so I wouldn't have to see the shape of his creepy ass smile. You know what I love? Coming to the restaurant that I own at noon, hung over, dragging in dysfunctional haunted ass robots out of the trash who I know will bite customers, yelling at my phone-headed employee, forcing some other poor fucker to wear the bear suit for once. You think any of this was because I loved Freddy's? Or loved you? You're a loser, Dave. Henry died 40 years ago, Dave. He's just fucking dead in his ass, bro. Oh, fuck <laughs> on. Get another fat iguana. Call it Henry. And get an apartment or some shit. Do crack in an alley or some shit. I don't care. Just stop sleeping in my trash. You're dead, you idiot. A tree is working hard just to create air for you to pollute with your stench. Go lay down in the ground and become a skeleton, dummy. Holy fuck, I'm trying to run a business here. I make the money, Dave. I roll the nickels. I deal the cards. The game is mine. Now get the fuck out of my restaurant. I guess I'll just go. Cry in the garbage. Alone. Thank you, uh, uh. Sir, that was... Uh, I've never seen an animatronic uh, cry before. Uh, uh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, uh, Turns out most uh, robots can if you know how to use a pair of pliers the right way. Uh, anyway... Uh, Sir, uh, I spoke to the CEO of McGumpty's Oats and other such grain-based assortments, and he likes our stuff! He's interested in a partnership deal, provided we put Oscar on a leash, of course! <laughs> Gotta put the furry on- I, I, I think he'd like that, bro. What's the deal like? You get a quarter of a billion bucks, taxed at California's reasonable tax rate, which is like 95%, and he gets 25% of all future profits, and we get a day off once every 16 months. Make it every 18 months and we have a deal. Uh, uh, Superb! That'll be the start of something great. I just know it. Oh, wow. 57 years later? What? The time skip, bro. The time skip. Holy fuck. 57 years later? Holy shit! Holy shit! This game's wild, bro. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.
Uh, uh, hey, sir. It's me. Employee. Hello. Uh, I uh, thought uh, I might as well come in and see you since, you know, the doctor says that today's the day. Wait. <coughs> How did you grow that beard? Your head is plastic. Oh, this? Sir, it isn't real. It's a gag. I thought it lightened the mood. A phone with a beard, tee hee. Have you ever seen anything so ludicrous? Uh, Sir, uh, 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 working uh, for you was an incredibly, well, average experience. Uh, you made absolutely uh, no radical choices one way or the other. But hey, your pizzeria was a hit. Uh, uh, but I can't help but wonder. Uh, uh, Freddy Fazbender uh, is now a global phenomenon. You have locations in every continent. And Freddy Fazbender's even a terrifying serial mascot. Uh, 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 but sir, uh, uh, you never uh, had a family or forged any real lasting relationships. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to ask is, uh, do you uh, have any regrets, uh, sir? No, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. Yo, shout out to the voice actors. Dylan Fisher is a god, dude. Dylan's awesome. I've loved, I loved working with Dylan through this series, dude. If you guys missed my playthroughs of like the bad ending and stuff, um. I, he voices in the video, which is awesome. Dylan's great. He's the voice actor for Dave. It's great. Oh my god, dude. That was funny. A very special thanks to you! Nah, just kidding. Very special thanks to God Red for allowing me to live long enough to churn out this absolute travesty. Yeah, that's what we're doing next. We're gonna we gotta learn about God Red. Thy will be done. Actual credit list on the game page is per usual. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride. I love Dogman, bro. Direct Doggo's great. Here's the catalog. As you can see, normal robots aren't really sold these days. If you want to buy a performer, we'll have to go for something unconventional. God Red, do not buy, sir. I, I don't think that's wise. What's wrong with God Red? Well, for one. Why is he marked down from $500 to $1? Seems kind of fishy to be frank. And the words do not buy are underlined next to his name. I demand God read. This is a dark, dark day for Bear. Uh, can we talk about who can perform? Currently, we don't have any robots on stage. Let's put God read on stage. I'm drawing the line here. This, this is wrong. Up he goes. God is dead and God Red killed him. Oh God. I fear no man, but that I fear God Red. Oh. Hello, my Lord. Wink at God, Red. Please show me mercy, O oh Lord. That'll be all then. Unique Geese needs to make a FNAF fan game called Five Days at Unique Geese's. It's just in my apartment and you're just like in my living room. And I just kind of like peep around the corner sometimes. Wonder what the jump scares would look like. Can we add an extra room? Sure, why not? 
I want a shrine to God Red. A what? You let him consume you. Please, don't do this. I gave you an order. This is a dark, dark day for humanity. Little do you know of the chaos you've wrought. Just keep your stupid comments in your pocket. All right, I'll just pretend that what you said just made sense. Is this the shrine? Second visit? I feel dark magic in this room. This is the shrine. Yes, we have a shrine. Fine, sue us. This room is a health hazard. What about the freedom of religion, eh? <laughs> you can't just discriminate. I win. Open flames in a venue for small children. Elves. Hazard. Fuck you. Speak aloud. You speak aloud. You reply to yourself to remind yourself that you still need to be in his presence. Pray. You kneel and utter a doleful hymn. You pray for the mercy that will never come. He doesn't understand mercy. Solemnly weep. You attempt to weep, but somehow cannot. This place is weeping. In this place, weeping is meaningless, and death is no release from his wrath. Sacrifice a goat. You need to learn more about him before you can perform the ritual. How do I learn more? Search the shrine for absolution. You search, but you already have found, you've already been found. Once God Red has marked you, running and weeping will become futile. I have to go to the office computer, file alpha 0010XX. For some reason, instead of containing a digital log, there's just instructions telling you how to pick up a file under your desk. Oh, here we go. What is this thing? That's... There's another one? The specimen... This specimen is believed to be known as God Red. The specimen resembles a large magenta-shaped bear animatronic. God Red is known to be hostile. It is currently not known who created God Red, but Redacted is known to have performed maintenance on him on, such, on one such occasion. God Red is known to hang out around graveyards. He is not to be approached. His only remaining blueprints specify that his arms were built to snap human necks and that he was has an inbuilt pregnancy feature? What the fuck? Should God Red somehow fall pregnant, Genesis 641D will occur. God Red is capable of visiting individuals whilst they slumber. Should God Red visit an individual twice, he will drag said person kicking and screaming into the night. God Red has visited you once before. Do not buy. Enlightened. Huh. I can honestly say I'm a little bit more afraid of you now. Let's see what Log Omega 01 is. Hey, it's me again. I need to write this for myself more than anything else. anyone else. After performing maintenance on him, I... Perhaps you've read the logs and seen what we're up against. Arms built to snap human necks. The tendency to appear at graveyards. Anomalous abilities. He wasn't invented like the others were. He's something else. Something much, much worse. I know my time is limited. He has visited me once in my sleep. The second time he does, he'll take me away too. Well, the way I see it, unless I fall asleep again, I can't allow for that. I must stay vigilant. I must stay awake. I have invented a robot to help me stay awake. It is my companion and my last resort. I have a name for him. Music Man. He's a robotic spider, one of the most feared animals on this godforsaken earth with a face only a weeping god could love. But best of all, he has loud symbols which are programmed to clash together should I drift off into unconsciousness. Music Man has been built in such a way that every individual aspect of him of his design prevents any nearby humans from falling asleep. I know it won't save me, but perhaps it can buy me enough time. I know that he's aware that I know too much. I fear the worst. Music Man is the hero we need but don't deserve. My final hope rests in Music Man. Music Man, oh, well, that's amazing. Zero percent. Twenty-three percent. 
67%. Music by the Welsh Beauty. Blues. Stunning premises for a creator. 0%. 47%. 84%. 100%. Promises empty. Must locate owner. Rescanning premises for creator. 0%, owner no longer on premises. Music ran a failure. Scanning for suitable nesting location. 0%, 54%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Leaving promises. Search for optimum nesting location. At least, must locate nest. So in the other run, he nested in the TwitchCon foam pit. Realming mode initiated. So now do we know enough about him to sacrifice a goat to him? Take me to the dining area, please. Oh my lord! What are you? What? The dodo brings you a gift. The dodo gave you a mysterious cassette tape. If only you had a cassette tape player you could listen to do. Thank you, dodo. One second. I think we still have another day after this one. So what we'll do is I'm going to save. We'll do God Red. And then we have the tape. And I'll just load up this save. And then we'll go through and... Uh, you know, oh, what about connect for ending? Is that hard to do? We'll figure it out. Okay, sacrifice a goat. It is time. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? Your unholiness. He who came from another place. These candles are lit for you. This shrine is built for you. This goat's blood spilled for your grace. My lord, does my offering please you? Please, O oh lord, I pray that you accept this sacrifice. Please, lord. I've given you everything you've asked for. The fame, the shrine, the fresh goat blood. My devotion to you is ceaseless. Understood. I know what must come next. What? 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 Huh. This feels different. I wonder where Phony is. It matters not. What matters is getting me home and slumbering. Okay. You say goodbye to nothing and nobody. Tomorrow and... T that night. My lord, the second visit, it is time. Take me away. What? 
What the fuck is happening right now, dude? What is happening right now? Foul ending. Was that it? Play the found cassette tape. I think this is the, yeah, this is the one that the dodo gave me. My research into the invariably complex nature of incorporeal soul matter has led to a promising discovery. It would seem that souls come in two types, clear souls and black souls. Clear souls seem to act as neutral spirits. So far, every single child that has died at my hand has produced a clear, desaturated spirit. These souls are relatively weak, containing little energy when contained within a vessel, yet still containing some form of free will and control of their respective vessels. Black souls, on the other hand, appear dark like shadows. Black souls tend to be self-expressed in hues of purple and black. These souls, from my own observations, tend to manifest from adults. The magnitude of a soul's power seems to be determined by emotion itself. Children's souls are weak for this very reason. Children, having undeveloped brains, only hold on to certain emotions upon death, fear being the main emotion. Adults, however, have a more sophisticated emotional palette. Anger, lust, greed, and even envy could manifest in souls. However, the most interesting emotion of all, in my observations, seems to be regret. Regret directly taints a soul, turning it charred and black, and with the dark hue comes considerable power. While spatial manipulation and hauntings usually go hand in hand, take your common poltergeist, for example. This manipulation is usually only strong enough to raise or launch matter. However, since the strength of a soul's power to manipulate its surroundings is determined by the emotion contained within it, one could argue that if a soul were to contain an intense enough regret, why, it might be able to engage in temporal manipulation. Could a soul reverse time through a physical manifestation of its own regret? Perhaps not, but should a soul contain an intense, unyielding regret, it may be able to travel between timelines, and indeed, enter the spatial vacuum between timelines. The soul's ultimate desire to turn back the clock. So it's talking about Blackjack, which is our soul. Because it's able to go through timelines and communicate with everyone across those timelines, and it's been able to do that since the first game. And the discoveries I aim to make sure transcend what we ought to know about space time relativity. My research continues as normal. Do you have an offering for us? It's fine, I know God Red. Wait, I could I could just say that. It's fine, I know God Red. I could just give them the licorice. I saved. Let's let's do let's do I've secured some licorice. Let's stay with our original plan. Cocaine. Please God, give me cocaine. I need sweet release. Sure, if I feel like I'm hallucinating up aggressive gremlin children. Goodbye. Where do I do the cocaine? Oh, I have to go to the bathroom to do the cocaine? Okay. 
That would that would make sense. That would make sense. Enter the boys' restroom. Do cocaine in a stall. All right, here goes nothing. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, he's 3D. Are we driving to the Grand Canyon? Oh no, we're at Candies. Okay. Okay. Oh. Did I shoot myself or did I shoot him? Oh. Uh, Sir. Uh, uh. Employee. What? Where am I? Uh, uh, You're in prison, sir. Uh, uh. I can see that employee. I mean. Why am I in prison? Uh, Wait, uh, you don't know? No, I don't. What was my crime? Uh, Sir, uh, tell uh, me what you remember from the last 24 hours. Well, first I sort of uh, sniffed some so sniffed some cocaine. Sniffed some cocaine that I bought from some ungrateful toddlers. Uh, uh, oh, I see. <laughs> Hold on, there's more. So then I uh Hugged music man? Uh, no idea why anyone uh, would do that, but go on. Then I put on the golden heady suit and then I kicked balloon boy. Uh, uh, Sorry, that uh, detail's incorrect. Uh, we don't uh, even have uh, a balloon boy bot in our uh, restaurant. Uh, you kicked a toddler. Ah, oh, shit. Was it a hard kick? Uh, Sir, uh, those suits uh, are essentially metal exoskeletons. What uh, do you think? Uh, that toddler's body uh, flew uh, into the air and hit the roof with enough force that his head basically smushed on the roof like a water balloon. Uh, uh, I don't think our customers uh, were really into that, to be frank. Oh, geez. Did I... I remember breaking into a Freddy's location and grabbing Foxy the Pirate. Uh, uh, Sir, you didn't break into Freddy's or steal Foxy the Pirate. What did I steal then? Uh, uh, well, you did uh, attempt to find another Freddy's Pizzeria, but since you know they're all shut down, uh, well, uh, you broke into an animal shelter and stole a beagle, sir. Slapped an eye patch uh, on it. Uh, yeah, uh, I wa it wasn't a pretty sight. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds familiar. Uh, uh, all right, keep going. I brought Foxy. I mean, uh, Beagle and put him in my car. Uh, uh, you carjacked uh, someone, actually. Sorry, continue. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, then I drove to Candy's and shot the place up. You know, as revenge for that one time they did it to us. Uh, well, uh, you're half uh, right. You did shoot a place up, but it wasn't uh, Candy's. Uh, you may recall uh, that Candy uh, shut down years ago. Where did I shoot up then? Uh, the closest place uh, that stoned you could find to Candy's. Uh, a Burger uh, King parking lot. <laughs> Alright. Guess I was tripping pretty bad, huh? Uh, Sir, uh, why would you do this? So I was just hallucinating? And I didn't suit up, abduct, and murder five kids in our restaurant? Uh... Oh, no. Uh, that really uh, happened. Uh, Ironically, the only thing you seem to be remembering correctly. Oh, shit. I'm in prison for life, aren't I? Uh, Technically, you are, uh, since you're on death row. What? Uh, uh, All right, uh, the thing is, you've been out since yesterday, and they sentence you to death overnight. But there's no death, but there's no death penalty in California. 
Uh, yeah, the thing is, they rightfully deemed you too dangerous to move, so... Long story short, the Supreme Court voted to have you killed here. They're making an exception out of you. How exceptional. Oh, shit. I watched the court case on TV. It was really neat. People were really pissed at... Oh, uh, sorry. I realize this might be, might be a bit tedious for you, so being killed before dinner and all. That must really be a blow. Wait, I don't get a last meal? No, they're counting that Burger King as your last meal. Sorry. Ah, oh, damn it. No matter, I'm a mortal anyway. I'll come back. I always come back. Uh, good luck with that, sir. Oh, an employee? Should I somehow actually, God willingly, die? I want you to tell someone my last words. Alright, hold on, let me get a pen. Ah, uh, screw it. Just say them out loud. Tell them. Tell the masses that I said. What is Foxy fucks your... What? Okay. Enjoy death, sir. What the fuck? What is going on, bro? Soapy ending V3. This ending is dedicated to Mike. I love you, man. Oh. Okay, jump into the ball pit. Oh, I don't think I put it on. I don't think I put it on. I have it. I don't think I put it on, though. I have to equip it, right? No, we're good. Okay, we did this in the second game. You guys remember that? Where's my... What's happening? Uh, okay. Yeah, we did this in the second ending, or in the second game. I remember that. Okay. It sucks because I can't tell. I can't tell where I'm at exactly. I'm just kind of guessing from like the middle of the screen. Okay, I can't go right. Am I. Okay. This would be a lot easier if I could tell where I am. I kind of just have to guess. Okay, wait, I have to interact with that thing. Where am I at? Where am I at if I'm not hitting that thing right now? Hello? Jack? Is that you? Yes, it's me. You've returned! You found me again! Old bear consequences! I'm lost. I let things get out of hand. I screwed it all up. I couldn't save them. That's most unfortunate. I'm afraid you've gone too deep. There's no way to get back to the surface. There isn't much to do here. Would you like to sit here and play board games with me for eternity? Sure. I love me some Connect Four. Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last thing we're going to do is tell the kids that we know God Red. It's fine. I know God Red. You know the door. The lurker. Oh, their eyes are going when red. When the comes, there will be much weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
Oh my god. If you are a friend of Godric, then you are no friend of ours. We won't be returning. Okay. All right. So someone said to do the high IQ ending. I just have to. I just have to start a new game and name myself Rick Sanchez. Is that all I need to do? Rick Sanchez. Is that how you spell Rick Sanchez? Is that right? All right. Let's see what's up. I fucking hate my life, dude. Hello there, Gold Sport. I fucking hate my life. It's me, Gold Sport. I, I turned myself into an eggplant to sneak into the restaurant and detect it. I'm an eggplant, Gold Sport. I'm eggplant day. High IQ ending. What is going on in this photo? Oh, it's the fucking, the Szechuan sauce guy. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a fucking way. You guys, you guys really made us end my entire Day Shift at Freddy's series on that ending. That is how this series is going to end. That is the last Day Shift at Freddy's stream I'm ever going to do, unless you count Dial Town, which I'm doing this Sunday. This, this is how it ends. This is how Day Shift ends, is the fucking high IQ Szechuan sauce ending, bro.